Hey guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel Peterisms where I tell stories of my life and just little things that I have learned as I have grown into the person that I am today. And uh, let's have a real talk for a second, right? So I made this video on my drama channel yesterday um, getting a lot of negativity for some videos that I made and getting called things that I know I'm not and um, a lot of people are saying I said things in the video that I never said and when I stand up for myself and defend myself then the goalpost changes so I started making so last night I made a video just addressing how I was feeling I'm sitting down and talking about it right so I said I was going to sleep on it and try to figure out what I wanted to do with this going forward. And I woke up today and I made some coffee and did my prayers and my meditations. And I was sitting out here and this is something that I was taught in early recovery was to pray on it and sleep on it, on indecision or on things that you weren't sure what you wanted to do with your life and things like that, right? So that's what I did. And I woke up and I felt pretty good, but I, I felt still felt indecisive whether or not I wanted to continue this standing up for myself era and um, holding people accountable and I just to be honest with you I'm kind of like it's so exhausting to constantly stand up for myself and then the goalpost changes and, and this is what's happening today right so I saw some comments and some threads and some things of people talking about this whole situation and I got on video and I actually filmed 20 minutes of a drama video defending myself and I thought no I'm just gonna respect this person's point of view and I don't need to address it any further I've said what I said I don't need to address it any further there's like literally hairs on my face and um, I was sharing some stories in there and so I like stopped the camera because I was like, I don't think that this is what I want to do. I don't think I want to keep on beating a dead horse with this. I don't think I want to keep on talking about it. So I stopped my camera and like I literally stopped it and reached over and started it again. And I was like, I'm going to talk about this on my Peterism's channel. Like I feel like this is something I need to talk about, but I don't need to talk about it and direct it towards one or two people. Like I need to just share where I'm at with this. Standing up for yourself, which I have tried to do. There's like literally a hair on my eye. I can't get it off. Standing up for yourself, what I, which I have tried to do to be an example to other people, that they can stand up for themselves too, is exhausting. I thought it was exhausting being a doormat, but what I realized in the last few months is that, I mean, I cannot get this hair off my eye, what is going on? It's just like hanging here. Um, what I've realized the last couple months is that it takes so much more energy to stand up for yourself than it does to just let people walk all over you, which I think is why I did it, allowed it for a long time, right? And I was using this example today of, like, I can remember, you know, like, parents and people always say, like, if you're being bullied or people are being mean to you, go to your teacher and tell them that, right? That would be standing up for yourself. So you go to the teacher. The teacher calls over the kid that was being mean to you in the playground and that popular kid that has 10 kids around him. And she says, were you being mean to Peter? And they start crying and they go, no, I wasn't being mean to Peter. Peter was being mean to me. Peter was the bully. And then she goes, class. And this is the popular kid. And all 10 of his friends go, yeah, Peter was the one that was being mean. They turn it on you. Okay? It's literally gaslighting at six years old. Okay? Where you think you're going crazy too. Then you're like, well, what really did happen? And then it happens every day of that week, every week of that month, every month of that year. Not just for one year, but for 12 years. And at some point along the way, you stop standing up for yourself. People want to people want to know why bullies don't go to people and talk to them about it. Or people that are bullied don't go to people and tell people that they're being bullied. Why they put it inside and they hold it inside. There's no point, okay? They get all these processes and procedures of, um, and teachers are bullies too, just so you know. I had a lot of teachers growing up that were bullies too. That made fun of my voice, 
that said things to me, that laughed behind my back. I had a lot of teachers that did that shit to me, okay? So the reason why kids that are bullied don't go and talk to teachers, counselors, uh, principals, and things like that is because it does no good. Absolutely no good. And in reality is, most teachers out there, I've, I've met a few good good apples, but the majority of them really don't want to deal with it because they don't know how to deal with it and they don't want it to make it more difficult in their classroom. So they just want to kind of get rid of it, right? And um, so when you go to your teacher, and, and I, I've still, you know, like, know people that, I have a, one of our good friends, her daughter is being bullied in school right now. The school's doing nothing about it. So please don't tell me this is a 1990 thing when I graduate from high school, it's not happening today, okay? Our friend's daughter that is, I think in first grade, is being bullied by a bunch of girls in school and the teacher said to her, well, they're all saying that she's a mean girl. Okay, well you wanna investigate that a little further? To see if that's true. When there are six girls that are saying she's a mean. How is it one girl that is being so mean to everybody else? I'm not saying that that's not true. But maybe investigate it a little bit further. Other than asking six girls. Because that's what happened to me. Okay. Is that I would go to my teacher. Because my parents would say. If something ever happens at school. Go to your teacher. Who do you trust? You trust your teacher. You go to your teacher. And you say. He's calling me names. He's pushing me on the playground. He pushed me off the swing. I have bruises on my knees from where I was hurt. And the teacher calls him over. He turns it on you and all of his friends back him up. And people want to know why people don't go and talk to their teachers about things or go talk to authority about things. It's not safe, right? So this is what's happening today on YouTube, okay? And I'm not that six-year-old kid anymore. I'm 51 years old and I'm a grown adult. But those feelings still come out of me, right? And, um, so, that's what's happening right now on YouTube, is that people have left me a lot of different comments, and it's not just one, it's multiple 10, 20 comments, right? And then I address the comments, and then it's like, oh my god, I can't believe you addressed my comment, and I feel this way about it, I feel that way about it, like, I'm not allowed to stand up for myself, okay? This is, yet again... Me going to the teacher, you know? And my immediate response today to somebody coming out and saying that they had certain feelings about it and they were really upset with how I, that I read their comment. On, I've read comments on videos for years. It's nothing new, right? But that they were really upset that I read this comment on the video and whatever. My first initial response was to like issue a public statement saying that I'm really sorry that they felt this way, that that was never my intention. But I felt myself sliding underneath the doormat again, right? Because this is what I've done my entire life, is I have apologized for shit that I didn't do wrong to make things right, to make people more comfortable, so that in, res in return my life was more comfortable, which it never really was because I was never standing up for myself. And I remember the situation that happened with my last sponsor that I had. And I had a coworker that when we had parted ways, it didn't end on good terms and not because of me. And I knew that. And, but I would see pictures of this person online and they seemed to like have such a great life. And I thought, you know, like I just want to make things right with them. Um, I knew that no conversation that I had with them would be like them coming to me and being like, I'm so sorry that I treated you like crap. Like that never should have happened. I'm really sorry that I said these things to you. I knew that was never going to happen. The conversation, if we were ever going to mend fences, was going to have to be me going to them and saying, I'm really sorry for whatever it is you think I did. And um, I, I want us to be friends again and whatever. And they would say, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. That is the epitome of being a doormat, okay? Is apologizing for shit you didn't do to keep relationships in your life that you don't need anyway on those terms. And I did it for years and years and years. So I called my sponsor up about this and I said, hey, listen, um, I'm going to be seeing this person. I haven't seen them in years. I think it's a perfect time for me to make amends to them. And he said, make amends for what? And I said, well, I don't really know that I did anything wrong, but I just want to make things right. And he goes, no, that's selfish, number one. He said, number two, we have an inventory of this relationship. You've never even brought this up to me before. He said, so you have an inventory of this relationship, so I don't know what your part is in it. I don't know what their part is in it. I don't even know what you're wanting to make amends for. And I said, yeah, well, I, that's not really the point, right? Like, the point is, like, I just want to mend fences. He goes, no, that's not 
the, the point of amends. The point of amends is taking a look at what your part in a situation was, making amends for that specific part, and saying that you won't do it again. Because you're not going to make amends for something that you didn't do. And I was pissed. Because I wanted this relationship back in my life, you know? Well, we sat down, we did inventory over it. And you know what I realized was? I didn't do anything wrong. It was their perception of what I had done. Now, I've had my sponsor, that sponsor, many of my sponsors, tell me fully what my part is in things. This was not a sponsor that would sugarcoat my ass, okay? This was a sponsor that had no problem telling me my part in things, okay? So it wasn't like he was saying to every person, but in this specific situation, he was like, you have no part in this. This was their perception of what you said and did. Like, you have no part in this whatsoever. You are not making amends for something that you didn't do because you want this relationship back in your life. He goes, I don't even know why you want that relationship. So we did further inventory on it. And what I realized was I needed that relationship for validation. That's a pretty sad excuse to need a, to need a relationship in your life that you're willing to bend over backwards and take accountability for something that you never did. Like that is sad. And I was willing to do it. And I had done that many times in my life. Crawled right back underneath that doormat and allowed myself to be walked over. At the expense of having shitty relationships that didn't even really mean anything because those people didn't care about me. And not to take any kind of responsibility for their actions and how they hurt me. At all. So, today, I wanted to jump on camera and make this statement and be like, you know, I'm really sorry for this. And then I sat there and I thought, I was like halfway through making this video and I thought, and I wasn't doing that in the video. I was doing this. I was sharing my experience, strength and hope. And I thought... What are you apologizing for? Like, there are things in life that you need to apologize for. There are things in life that you need to take responsibility for and make amends for. You didn't do anything wrong. Like, why, why are you being pushed in this corner, okay? And, and, and this is why I, I said in my video that I did on my drama channel yesterday, it's exhausting standing up for myself. It is exhausting standing up for myself. But I also said at the end of my video... That if I don't stand up for myself, nobody else will. And even those people that stand up for yourself, it hits different. It does, you know? When your husband or your mom is standing up for yourself, like, or standing up for you, and being like, don't talk to Peter that way. It, it feels nice for a moment, but it doesn't feel anything like standing up for yourself on your own two feet and being like, you are not going to talk to me that way. You're not going to treat me that way. You're not going to say those things that are untrue about me. You're not going to twist the narrative on me. You're not. So... Maybe this is what I needed to say on my drama video, but I didn't. So maybe I will. Maybe I will. Maybe tomorrow this is what I'll say on my video. I don't know. Maybe I'll just do something funny, haha, -ha, and, and move through it all, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Now I'm like, should I turn around and... and talk about this on my drama video you guys have really you've really helped me today because this was kind of like my practice arena I really needed to get here but I appreciate it I do I guess what I'm saying and what I wanted to share with you guys is don't apologize for shit that you didn't do I think that that is such a trait of a codependent and such a trait of uh, somebody that doesn't stand up for themselves day upon day month upon month year upon year that after a while we just stop standing up for ourselves and, and doing what's necessary, right? And in the end, to whose detriment? Our own. I think it's okay to want to make things right. But you could also go to that person and say, you know what, what you said really hurt me. And I'm more than willing to take responsibility for my actions if you want to point out what they are. This video really helped me. I needed this today. Anyway, I know it probably didn't make sense to a lot of people, but it made sense to me in some kind of weird way, so I appreciate it. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.